if you look at the world, if you look at, at in general what's kind of what's happening with you know all the jobs being overseas, all the riots, all the uh, the tension, all the corruption in the government and stuff. There's there's never a shortage of uh, things I could sing about with hate breed. I got a bunch of hate breed material uh, written, some of it recorded. Uh, Chris has some riffs as well. We'll probably get together and do that in October when we get back from the Motorhead cruise. Uh, that's gonna probably end out the whole Divinity of Purpose cycle. I know there's other stuff that's being offered to us and I also have a Josta tour. Like I try to do one little short Josta tour per year and then I link back up with Hatebreed in Europe for Summer Breeze. Then we're doing the Ghost Fest in the UK, then the motorboat then we're gonna like get together and do the new hate breed. So I might put out a little EP or something with Josta before the tour just to, so I have something new because that Josta record's like four years old, but uh, but definitely it's due, we're overdue for a uh, for new hate breed as well, which well, that'll come out early next year, hopefully. Usually we wait with Hapri, but yeah, if we got something down and demoed and then tried it live, that would be fun. I love when bands do that, especially when they do it early in the set when the fans are fresh and they're more like, you know, into hearing something new. I saw Slayer do that and I thought that was cool. Metallica did it too with that Lords of Summer song. Then people get live recordings of it and they're excited to hear the studio version. happy people were open to it because I whipped up the song really quick and and then I, you know I was like well damn I should just put it out on my own and see how it does and see like what the DIY approach is in 2015 and so that was really cool seeing like how the money is split when you sell it on Bandcamp and iTunes and and you know having to have a budget and make back my recording and and being my own label again was fun so I, I thought man maybe I could get an EP out and I just released a new song called Deadly Business which is now getting some traction at uh, radio and stuff so who knows maybe I'll I mean obviously my focus and my priority is Hapri but maybe I will get an EP out for Josta would be fun it's just so different at this point it's a different tuning a different vocal range and that's cool because like with the Josta the, the latest song Deadly Business it's just like kind of like a throwback crossover thrash song you know, it's more like leeway, exodus kind of style. I'm doing totally, like a lot of people have said, compared my vocals on that song to Zetro, which I think is a compliment. Um, so I just try to get into a different mindset in a different place. Whereas with the Hate Breed, uh, the new material that I'm writing, it's really based in the now. It's really pissed, it's really heavy. And it's, um, it's more kind of uh, what fans are used to hearing from me as far as vocally. What's up everybody, it's Jamie Johnson from Hate Breed. Make sure you subscribe to Louder Noise.